Hello everyone, this is Leah from Manuscript Manager and welcome to our video tutorial on proxying as another user. I'm going to go ahead and sign in and I'm going to log in as the editorial office. In order to proxy as another user you would have to have editorial office privileges. Um, you would then go to the search mechanism in the editorial office click person and search on either the last name, the first name, or the email. In this case I'll choose Arthur Amory, who I know is an editor in our whoops, in our demo here today, and I'll click search. The search results generate his name, I'm sure that's him, so I'll click edit profile. And this is where I get the opportunity to proxy as Arthur Amory. In the green letters next to his name, you'll see the word proxy, and you simply click that, and you're welcomed into the system as that user. So it says, Welcome Arthur Amory at the top, and now I'm able to choose any of the roles he has permissions for in the system and make edits on his behalf. And that's it. That was just a quick little introduction as to how you proxy as another user. Let's say that we chose um, his editor in chief role. Perhaps we needed to edit something in his profile. Maybe he's alerted us to a new email address where we would then update the email address and when we were done proxying we would simply click end proxy next to Arthur Amory's name and we would come back out into the system as the person that we logged in as and today for me that's Andy Bear. So that concludes our tutorial on proxying as another user, and I hope you found it helpful. Have a nice day.